in your practice, do you use Taxotere or Jeftana more often? And those are like the two main chemotherapies that are used in prostate cancer. Right, so there, uh, the, these are the two main chemotherapies and they are very similar. There was a nice comparative clinical trial performed. Half the people got Taxotere, half got Jeftana. And they showed equivalent uh, efficacy, anti-cancer effect was the same. Uh, they showed a little less side effects with the Jeftana. So if I had complete freedom, I would start with Jeftana in everybody. However, insurance companies be, uh, like to use Taxotere first because it's less expensive. So it may be difficult to get a insurance company to pay for Jeftana as an initial therapy, whereas if the patients had previous Taxotere, usually Jeftana would be covered. So I don't have always complete freedom due to the way the payment schedules are. These medicines are fairly expensive, and the, if the insurance companies are reluctant to pay for one, then certainly we would start with a tax term. And as far as the side effects go, they're pretty much equal. Are they the same side effects, or you see um, different side effects between the two? They're very similar. I think the biggest difference between Taxotere and Jevtana is Jevtana seems to have a little less fatigue. And fatigue is a very prominent component of all chemotherapy, and particularly Taxotere, can, it could be an issue. I mean, there are other ways to circumvent fatigue. Taxotere is usually given every three weeks, but you can give smaller doses every week, and that can be helpful. But uh, the uh, reduction in fatigue is, is a difference and a meaningful difference. Uh, it also seems there may be a little less hair loss okay. with Jeftana. And as far as the losing hair and side effects and the numbness, I've noticed when I was in the transfusion room at your office, you know, you had people not only have, you know, ice caps sometimes, but also like their fingertips and ice. And so that's to help. Is that a common thing in every other doctor's practice? I don't know what's happening in other doctor's practices, but the um, idea of icing the fingertips is that anything growing in the body is sensitive to chemotherapy. And so fingernails are growing pretty quickly. And by uh, making the tips cold during the treatment, the blood flow is limited there, and therefore the carrying of the chemotherapy through the bloodstream to the to the fingernail bed is limited, and so you have less problems with um, uh, damage to the fingernails. There's uh, also another issue with Taxotere that seems a little more common uh, compared to Jeptana called uh, peripheral neuropathy. So people can get the numbness that you talked about. That has to do with the nerves, not the fingernails. Icing doesn't have anything to do with preventing it, okay. but it does... Um, uh, seem to be a little less likely with Jeftana than uh, with Taxotere. Okay. And so those are the only two chemos that you use in your practice, or are there any other type of chemotherapies when you're dealing with a really advanced patient that you've used? Well, there's another medicine that's FDA approved for lung cancer called carboplatin. And carboplatin uh, seems to have genuine benefit in prostate cancer. Usually if it's given in combination with Taxotere or Jeftana as opposed to being used by itself. And it's an infusion that's given right along with the Taxotere. It has similar side effects. You always have to watch blood counts and, uh, and you know, give medicines to prevent nausea, which thankfully is very effective. Um, but carboplatin is uh, sometimes overlooked, and it certainly is an effective medicine for prostate cancer patients. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Schulz. So if you have questions that you would like me to ask Dr. Scholes in the future, you can go ahead and leave that in the YouTube comments below and we will pick them up from there. And in the meantime, if you have more questions that you would like to ask to a person, someone who can talk to you about your prostate cancer case as an individual, our helpline is available to you. And you can go ahead and uh, submit your questions at pcri.org. For more information about prostate cancer in general, you could also visit our website and please subscribe to our videos, like and give us a big thumbs up if you think uh, that these are good and you would like to see these in the future. And as always, we love you very much and we will see you next week.